back again. Walk number two with Saturn and Gina. I literally walked in the house, <laughs> took my boots off, sat down, <laughs> put a bit of charge in my phone. Right, 10 minutes, and now I'm back out again. Walking Gia, Sarah's with me. And we just bumped into some one of the ladies from around here who's got two little doggies. And we've just been saying about what's going on with the hospital and the lady that the cats were looking after. Because it's getting crazy now. We had a phone call the other day from the nurse at the hospital saying, Oh Mike, it's a nurse, don't it? Mike keeps saying, do you realise we don't know these people? Do you realise her son is disabled? And they're going, no, no, we don't know this. She's not telling them, like, that we don't know them. She's not even telling them that her son's disabled, like, massively. Like, he's about the brain age of, of um, like, Echo, but in a man's body, like a 31 man's body sort of thing. And so nurse and I ringing up saying, well, you need to be there to... That occupational therapy people need to go and get her bed moved downstairs and sort it out so she can come home and stuff. Mike said again, like, I don't know them. Now I've got to go and let people in to her house. Like, this is just getting a lot now. This is not just feeding the cats. This is like, so today he's been there sorted all the drive out like took <laughs> it's just crazy so <laughs> it's ended up now that he said there's no way that someone could get that bed down from upstairs because it's massive and it's a windy because it's such an old house windy cottage staircase so he's done it so mike's gone there today and brought the bed down and then two ladies rang and said yeah we've come to do it and <laughs> It's a good job, but he they parked a road drive that Mike might have made really nice again. He had nowhere to park. So he went in and said, I've already done it. There's no way you would have been able to do it. And they were like, no, we wouldn't be able to do it. And um, he said, look, my kids are in the car across the road because you've parked here. You can drop me up. You bring the keys back to me or something. I wasn't there that with Echo. Anyway, I've now bought the keys back. She's coming home tomorrow, but only, I think, to see, to assess needs. I think they see if she can make a coffee or a cup of tea and something to eat and see if she can get around the house. But she's not telling them that her son's massively disabled and can't take care of himself, let alone her. Because I think she just wants to come home. And also, if she can't get up the stairs to go to bed, how can she get up the stairs to feed the cats when they're not allowed out of a room? They're locked in a room and they're not allowed out of it. So this is all getting just crazy. We've just had a phone call from her, like, ex-husband, telling us he's just got to pick the key up tomorrow. And it's just like, you joke it, it's just like, happens upon us. Just, the worst thing, the absolute worst thing about it all is that she must have had our phone number. Hold on. Is that you? Me. Big Grandma Lily. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, I couldn't write it, could you? So, bumped into the lady with the two dogs, spoke to her for ages. Sarah was getting annoyed, bless him. Of course, rightly so. It's getting dark and he's and cold. I spoke to her for ages, then just pumped into Grandma Lily and Nula. So we've just been speaking to them for ages too. Oh, yeah, you're a very good girl. Didn't give a damn, did you, to you? <laughs> Couldn't care less, bless her. Really couldn't care less. So yeah, it's a lot darker than it should be because we actually came out so it wouldn't be dark. Well, no, we've got a head torch and we've got the torch that we always bring. But we didn't think it would be dark this time. Now it's already getting dark because we've had a conversation.
conversations with two sets of people. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Life is what you get living in a small village. At one point, I lived here and said, we just see Grandma Lily for about a year. <laughs> you live in where there's only about 30 houses and that's no less than that, a lot less than that. Not that many. But didn't see her. And now, it's like, you, you got a dog, you can't just bump into people. And sometimes you see no one and sometimes you see loads of people. Weirdly, when it was COVID lockdown, we saw so many people around here. It was crazy. It was like they'd all came up. At one point, <laughs> there were some people having a barbecue with their tops off, sunbathing next to a manure pile on a, <laughs> there's a big pad, like farmer's pad, and it's for manure. And they were literally, I hate to say it, but <laughs> rather large and like had deck chairs so kids were running around just with like no tops on nothing the, the dad was can of lager barbecuing <laughs> with his top off and the, the, the mother was in like a bikini top sunbathing next to a pile of manure and that was in lockdown <laughs> suddenly in lockdown our village just went crazy busy I don't know what happened? It was just mental. <laughs> Honestly, you went from seeing like no one to just cut just like a flow of people. I think we saw about 12, 13 people one day, which was just crazy. Actually crazy. What a Saren? What's that? Right, I think I'm here. Aeroplane. Yeah. Yeah, we heard it earlier, it was going mental, it was so loud. Hey, Gia? Gia, Gia, Gia! Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl, Gia? Hey, are you my good puppy? Are you my good puppy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. just crazy what's what's going on like that's yeah N having our number the entire time like for four weeks now not having the decency to give us a ring and let us know what's going on and we're looking after your cats that you lock in a room and <laughs> don't let out and we're dealing with everything and now we're moving might moving your bed downstairs it's just crazy, don't know our last name and nurse was ringing up saying oh yeah we had it, it's just crazy, it's just absolutely crazy, they're absolutely shaking the mick so badly, so so badly, just want her to come home or whatever, hurry up, come home, hand the keys over, and that's that, job done. That's not why we did it. And we're not going to ask for anything or anything like that. But be common courtesy and common decency to maybe just like get a box of freaking chocolates or something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We've done a lot, a hell of a lot. From the minute she, Mike, found her sitting in a wooden chair outside her house, unable to move, and he got her in the house. And then oh, I got the ambulance there, and doctors, I got his. It's just crazy. Anyway. Oh, sorry. 